You're watching WMAR 2 News. Police say a domestic dispute over a borrowed vehicle ended in violence outside of a truck stop in Elkton over the weekend. A Northeast woman drove to the TA Travel Center to retrieve her Jeep from a man who worked there. She had allowed him to use it while he was dating her daughter. When the relationship hit the skids, the mother drove there to get her vehicle back. Uh, an argument ensued inside. It came outside. Uh, the suspect's mother in this case, according to our preliminary investigation, uh, claimed that the uh, victim in this case may have had a gun. 33-year-old Brett Mele spotted the man leaning inside the passenger door of his mother's vehicle and struck him with his car before ramming it into the side of the building. Later, he would learn the victim's firearm was actually a replica BB gun and someone had already taken it from the Jeep before he panicked and struck him intentionally with his car. A shooting at the Mondawmin Mall injured a seven-year-old girl on Saturday. Now police need your help in the case. Take a look at your screen. Police need to help identify these three people in connection with that shooting. Police say the shooting stemmed from a conflict between two groups, and according to investigators, the suspect shot into the crowd, hitting a seven-year-old girl who was shopping with her mom. Metro Crime Stoppers is offering a $4,000 reward for information leading to an arrest and charges. Call 1-866-7LOCKUP with more information. Police in Anne Arundel County are looking for five teenagers in an armed robbery. It happened around 6 Tuesday morning at a BP gas station on Baltimore Annapolis Boulevard in Linthicum Heights. Police say an armed teen entered the store with four others and demanded money while the other teens stole merchandise. The suspects took off in a black SUV. You know, sports gear can be costly. It's often a barrier for children who want to get out and play something like baseball, football, or lacrosse. We teamed up with Weiss Markets to collect sports gear to give to leveling the playing field while helping kids more get more active. And thanks to everyone who came out to Meadowood Regional Park in Timonium to drop off donations and to everyone who dropped off donations at Weiss Markets. We'll be back into the mid-70s for Thursday and a lot of dry time. Take advantage because it's another round of light showers Friday. This on and off rain pattern, these up and down temperatures, there's a lot of variability in spring and we're getting a real feature of that this week. Back to 67 Friday to go to 70 on Saturday, then mid-60s on Sunday. See what I mean? Mostly dry for the weekend and then early next week, Earth Day, Monday, mainly sunny, mid-60s, slightly warmer Tuesday. Watch for another rain chance by Wednesday. Kelly? All right, stick with us online at WMER2news.com. All day we'll bring you updates on our top stories and breaking news. And for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMER2news app in the App Store.